We're on the road with the Fox 17 Rock Interview, and I'm with the uh, talented singer, songwriter, guitarist, uh, Nashville uh, songwriter, uh, 2014. You know, yeah, 22, year, 22 albums, five number one hits. You know, you've done a lot, John, and you keep rocking with this brand new album, Goldmine. And uh, so many good tracks on here. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate that. Uh, we had a wonderful time making that CD and a great time writing the songs for it. Well, you know, I, I thought one of the quotes that I read was so much fun, and you and I were talking about it off camera, to where when you, when you hire the best musicians, you're not known for giving a lot of direction. Well, yeah, you really shouldn't have to at that point. <laughs> but in this case, like I say, all the guys that played on it are old friends right. who had played on many of my records before. Yeah. And uh, I had my good friend and band leader, Joe Spivey, in there co-producing with so me. So talented. Oh, yeah, he's great. And uh, we pretty much made the record how we wanted to make it. Yeah. And, uh, and thank goodness we were left alone <laughs> long enough to get it done. Well, you know, when you and I were talking off camera on it, John, to where it's like, the, there's so many great songs on here. I know the second single that just came out, Don't Forget to Thank the Lord. I mean, that's a touching song, and, and you had some help co-writing that one. Oh, I did. I wrote that song with brother John Rich, who's uh, also a great writer. Definitely. Uh, but this it's probably my favorite song that we've written together. We've written several. Yeah. But this particular song is uh, kind of my way of thinking for the past several years. You right. Know, uh, try to appreciate the small stuff and uh, be thankful for each and every day. Definitely. Well, you know, another song that really grabbed me after uh, listening to the tracks, John, was Freedom Isn't Free. And I know you're thinking about doing a video on that. Oh, yes, indeed. And that song was written for the veterans. Mm -hmm. Basically, they say, well, why did you write that song? And actually, I wrote that song with my good friend, Jim Hicks. Uh, we grew up together oh, wow. down in Florida. Yeah. And our fathers were both uh, military men and okay. veterans. Uh, in fact, my dad uh, fought in World War II and Korea. He was in two wow. wars. And, That's incredible. Uh, oh, that was a wonderful generation of people. No question. Just the and, best. And what a debt we owe to the veterans, oh, too. Uh, well, it's uh, like I say, just on account of my upbringing, mm -hmm. You know, my dad's a retired Marine, like I say, in two wars. Right. Uh, I never will forget. No. And, and again, I was really proud to write this song. Uh, I have had the chance to play it to a few veterans, especially some of the older ones. Right. And, and by the way, we're losing them, you know, yeah, that's every the day, shame. each and every yeah, day. The, especially the World War II veterans. Uh, I read something but, on that. But, you know, that, that generation saved the world, literally. Yeah. And, uh, and there again, uh, you know, not to be taking anything away from anybody who ever fought for America, whether, you know. Definitely, whether, in all the different wars. Whether and, it's, yeah, yeah, I mean, if you serve time in the military, and uh, uh, then you deserve uh, a bit of gratitude. Definitely, well, and I think this song does a great job of it. Well, thank you. Uh, awesome. You know, we were, we were talking guitars earlier, because I remember the first time I saw you in concert back in the day, and you were, you know, wielding one of your Gibson Les Pauls. Oh, I love the Les Pauls, as but, well as the Telecasters. Right, but, like but now, yeah, and I remember some Telecasters, yeah, too, that you got, had. We but, still got one or two around, <laughs> I think. But now you've got a new acoustic you just had made. Tell me about that. Actually, uh, my buddy Marty Lanham here with the uh, Nashville Guitar Company. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty much becoming world-renowned for, for his luthiership. Right. And, uh, and you were always a fan of the D45 style. Oh, yeah, I love the Martin guitars. Uh -huh. uh, and that's what you opinion, came to Nashville with. Oh, yeah, I still have my old one. Good. Uh, but uh, very fortunate to have a guitar that uh, Marty just made for me. And it's wow. uh, it may be my most favorite guitar uh, ever. Well, you ever know, I think owned. it's pretty incredible, too, John, that you got to pick out the wood and everything that he made it oh, with. Oh, indeed, it's quite an experience to to have one made for you like that. And then, it, uh, then it's and really just, yours. Uh, very close, yeah. So, yeah, it makes you love it. Now, will you be taking this one on tour? I have already. Really? It's just about paid for it there. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> yes. You know, when you can go out you Plus, know, uh, and, and make money using it. I actually wrote, the first song I wrote on that guitar was Freedom Isn't Free. That's amazing. So it, it works out. Yeah, it works out great. Well, you know, I think it's so interesting, you know, reading about you, and I had a good knowledge of you already, but, you know, to where, you know, you were roofing, you know, uh, on, the, on the roof of the Grand Ole Opry when you first got here, weren't you? I did. That was one of the jobs that helped me stay in town, actually. you know, Right. You, you can come to Nashville and work on your career, but you got to eat and you got to have a roof over your head. Exactly. And, uh, 
Well, now, Indeed. how does it feel to make that full circle, John, to where, you know, you came here working, you know, putting in, you said, what, the brass? Yeah, uh, little brass clips <laughs> holding those singles on. And now you play but, the stage. Yeah, people used to ask, have you been on the Opry? And I said, oh, yeah, lots of times. <laughs> and that was before I ever got to play on Right, because you'd been, you but were now on we, it. We've been, first time we played there was 81. And we try to make one or two appearances every year now. That's so. incredible. But you really, you, I mean, you achieved the Nashville dream. I think so. I feel, <laughs> I feel pretty much like a dreamer. And, and every once in a while, you get to go hunting and fishing, too. Just every the now side. and then, when, when, when time allows. <laughs> now, where can people buy, you know, Goldmine is the brand new album, and it's on its second single. Where can people buy them, John? Actually, uh, there are a few available in several of the Walmart stores, as well as the Hastings bookstores. Uh, the best place to get it, probably for sure, would be at johnanderson.com, and okay. it says uh, store. Gotcha. And gold mine CD available. Yeah. Uh, and that's also where they can keep up with you to find a, you on tour. Exactly where our tour dates are, as well as uh, we're going to be posting, like I say, several little different uh, social media videos and yeah. things throughout the year. So. Uh, just kind of invite them to check us out at johnanderson.com. I think that's awesome. Well, and I was telling you earlier, it's so neat to see you working with a lot of the young uh, songwriters as well, to where you're sort of imparting your songwriting knowledge and working with them. Sometimes I wonder if I'm showing them or they're showing me, but either way, <laughs> as long as we get a good song written. It's well, I'll tell you what, it's always guaranteed a good song with you, John. Well, thanks so much, brother. Well, be sure and check out John Anderson Goldmine, uh, new album out uh, this last year, so it hadn't been out very long. Second single now, which is Don't Forget to Thank the Lord. Great songs all the way through. And John, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate you having me. You betcha. Thanks for watching the Fox 17 Rockin' Review.